Well hi there guys and welcome to another video. So guys, as you know, I love the mundane and luckily enough for this channel's watch statistics, apparently so do some of you. And so today guys, you are to be treated to my route from home to work on foot. Fully narrated of course. So guys, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Jumping in as I walk out of my garden gate. So, also road to the left, cars caning it past, though, to be fair, they do look faster, sped up sevenfold than they were actually at the time. I deviate down to this path, it's a very handy path, it takes me directly from Surrey Road down onto Greenway, uh, then I cross the Bourne Stream before joining Greenway on the other side, because it is a cycle-free side, and we don't want to get hit by cycles, do we, as we're walking along. Uh, deviate down here onto a more scenic route. You see there's a water tower there on my left, uh, at least I'm told it's a water tower. I don't know what it's serving or what its purpose is, but it is certainly there. A very tranquil part of the gardens here, not really many people around at all. Um, a little bit of poor drainage sometimes, like that section there, a bit wet on the ground. The drainage is not always ideal after a bit of rain, can get a little bit... Uh, a little bit soggy in these gardens, a little bit muddy, but uh, generally not too bad. Coming out of the scenic section, and I have to uh, cross Queen's Road. Uh, oh, there's a, uh, a gentleman who went past me on a scooter of some sort. Um, to be fair to him, there's no sign saying no scooters. It's, it's the no cycling side, but uh, scooters, I guess, are fair game. Uh, one does sometimes see the, uh, the Bournemouth park people uh, driving down here in their little kind of golf cart type thing. Uh, someone passed me there, um, going somewhat faster than me. I don't generally go particularly quick. Oh, there's another person there passing me. Um, yes, I, I, I move at a very leisurely pace on my uh, walk to work. I'm usually in no extreme hurry. I like to leave with plenty of time to spare. Uh, you know, it varies between a maybe 35 and 55 minute journey. It's so going under the Wessex Way now. Uh, the path is very narrow there as I go around. This is the section now where we go past the tennis courts, um, which vary in popularity from time of year to time of year. Um, during Wimbledon, everybody, of course, gets a, a, a massive excitement for tennis and decides it's their favourite sport and has to go and play lots of it. And then once Wimbledon finishes, everyone forgets, of course, that's simply how it is. And during the summer, it's just generally more populous on this path, as I think more people walk to work rather than uh, catching the bus when they consider the weather more palatable. Personally, I find this weather very palatable. Uh, here on the right is the, uh, the Great Celebration of War um, Memorial of, of some sort. It's something to do with the war, I think. Um, and celebrating something or commemorating something or um, it's, it's either great or terrible um, I, I don't know it's something to do with war um, so we're coming up on the square now we can see there's the Alpine Lodge um, which is currently being deconstructed by the gentleman as the Christmas period is over there's all sorts of little huts around here during the Christmas period peddling their wares um, Okay, we head now into the, the main part of the square where all of the bus stops are. Uh, I do sometimes uh, take the bus into into work. I mean, if it's raining, I won't, won't do this walk necessarily. Um, or if I'm just feeling tired. I mean, sometimes I'll walk as far as here and take the bus the rest of the way. Sometimes I'll take the bus all the way from Westbourne. Uh, it, it really depends. Uh, coming up here to cross over Westover Road. Briefly have to wait at the lights, um, but not very long at all, which is good. Um, and uh, yes, uh, outside here, and then just, just around the corner here, language school. So, of course, lots of people milling outside as they do at language schools. Uh, onto the church grounds now, the very sacred grounds, the burial place of Mary Shelley, and then up this hill. So these steps, it may not look like it in this sped up video, but I've slowed down quite significantly for this heinous hill climb. Um, I am, in the mornings, always extremely um, unenergetic, 
So this hill is, is quite heinous, but it is the only significant incline on my journey. And I uh, always make it outside, uh, just fine out here. And uh, this, from this point onwards, uh, it's flat all the rest of the way, so um, I am somewhat more jubilant, albeit uh, tired out. Uh, over here on the right, these buildings, uh, they always architecturally remind me a little bit of uh, Caesar's Palace Las Vegas, um, where I have been uh, once on my, my seven trips to Las Vegas on holiday so far, I need to stay at uh, Caesar's Palace once, which is very enjoyable, and upgraded to a suite, um, complimentarily, and uh, yes, it was good, it had a hot tub with uh, all the usual bubbly action and so on and so forth, so that was very enjoyable to me. As you can see, we're now on a much busier piece of road, the car's going far past, far up and fairly fast, uh, quickly. Um, Everyone in a hurry to get to work now, it's getting quite close to, to 9 o'clock, so I guess everyone is all angry behind the wheels of their car, as human uh, as nature it seems around here. Uh, approaching the crossing here, someone else activates the crossing, and as I get there, the Redmond has just returned, but not long after, and, uh, and I, I may be across. Just around the corner, a bunch of taxis here usually. Very easy road to cross there, there's no specific crossing, it's just down to the college, not a lot of traffic. Uh, approaching these lights, much more fortuitous, the Greenman showed as I arrived. So I was on the other side of the road, and then just walking down Christchurch Road here. Um, a variety of, of, of offices and, and uh, buildings belonging to the university on the left. Um, then, the, yes, uh, nearing the end of my journey here, coming up on, on my office, uh, which will be the next building on the left. And uh, then in, we've got to pass on the door, pass on the second door, and then have to wait briefly for the lifts. You see me there in the mirror, in my winter's garb, and then here I am, at the office. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you found the video interesting and informative. And as always, please do feel free to comment below. But guys, until the next video, all that's left for me to say to you is, goodbye. Well,